We don't think always very much about the tires on our vehicles, but here is a new name to stow away in your memory, Taraxagum. This is a new tire made from, would you believe, dandelions. Yes, the weeds that drive us crazy in our yards. Business editor Rob Maloney is here to show us how it works. Automotive technology is moving at blazing speed, even tire technology. Can you believe you can make this tire out of a weed you can grow on your front lawn? Oh, the mighty dandelion, that slander on the color yellow we fought so vainly against every spring and summer, appears to have a redeeming quality after all. Rachna Nike, Continental Tire's future product guru, says scientists have made a big transit breakthrough with it. They've been able to help us uh, figure out a way to extract the latex out of a dandelion. And no, it is not the one growing on your yard. It's a Russian dandelion called the Kazdak. But we were able to find a, the Russian dandelion has the most similar properties to a rubber plant. Yes, it's a bit mind bending, but let's talk about the significance of these little dandelion stems here. Between 10 and 30% of a tire is rubber, made from latex that comes from the rubber plant, grown in the rainforests from Brazil and parts east and west along the equator. This dandelion grows in much colder climates, meaning we're not clearing rainforests to grow rubber and... So we can actually have these dandelion fields, for example, closer to the production plants, so that way we reduce the transportation costs, we are conserving the rainforest. So imagine fields of Kazdak in Illinois or North Carolina, where Continental has its plants, becoming tires, and not just any tire either. It's equal or better performance than a regular tire. There is good news and bad news with the Taraxagum tire. Good news, it only takes two parking spots full of dandelions to make the rubber to fit into one of these. The bad news is it's going to take 10 years to get to your car. In Detroit, Rod Maloney, Local 4. But it's on the way, and this is not a zebra mussel story. Continental says not to worry about growing the Russian dandelion, the Kazakh, here in the U.S. It is not considered an invasive species, and they do not genetically modify it to make the tires.